Thanks a lot. It's my honor to present my my our work in federal learning in bit not in that model era. So for vision language models for the uh, smart city safety uh, operation management. So this work was um, co-worked with uh, three four parties. First is Yuan Group in China, and China Unicom in Shanghai, and Wen Datong in uh, Qingdao. Uh, in, in and also a Chinese China University of Petroleum. Yeah. So. Uh, in this talk, I will discuss a little bit about our, our position or our understanding for federal learnings in, in large model era. And then we propose the federal learning uh, framework and share the case studies. First of all, in the traditional federal learnings, so um, they this, this is the horizontal one, you know. So um, it's try to exchange the model instead of the private data. And the models are usually are the same. They do the aggregation together to build the global models. So the main challenge or main uh, research perspective comes from four, four parts. First is the heterogeneities among the participants and try to build a personalized model to make this global model can be applied in individuals, users, or organizations. And then the second one is about you know that the model, some of the model can be huge, especially in CVs and 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 now the large, large models. So the time, the communication time and computation costs will be very high. So how to reduce it is very important, especially in industry adoption. And now the third one is definitely the the, the, the data, data privacy and try to um try to lob us to like a different kinds of attacks from um malicious uh, users. And last but not least is uh, incentive mechanisms. So actually, Ian Group have conducted uh, a lot of work and uh, different kinds of industry uh, applications using the better learnings. But now, uh, actually, we, we started to think about this in 2023, about how, 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 to, how, to, how to do better learnings in that model era. So the major thing is the Paradigm has been changed for the model for 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 the AI models. So now the AI model is we we consider about to build a foundation model using massive data, and then this model can be adapted to different kinds of intelligent tasks, and also different kinds of application scenarios. So uh, then the federal learning itself, I think the most important thing is that try to try to build a better foundation models for in the for the for the industry domains. So in this case, to, to make this foundation model have very good adapt, adaptation to different scenarios. So we have to consider, we have to integrate the data, diverse data from different parties. So we require an open ecosystem. The open eco ecosystems in terms of their data diversities and also their computer resources data diversities. And then the second one is about the model because the, they have different, amount of data and different amount of computation resources, so the model might be different. So it might be totally different from the traditional one. So model is different. How to how to make the model fusions in this in this case? And the second one is that some of the computer resources may not be always available. So we have to think about asynchronous and relay trainings and so on. Yeah, and then if we think about the vision learning on and the foundation models in paradise, in now there are some of the open source very powerful model already as a, as a, as a, as our beginning, as our starting point. You know, so some of these model can be do the zero or future learnings, so it can adapt to find some common sense case, something like you know littering in the on garden path. We can easily generate this kind of cap caption based on the photo. And then that, but if we go to the industry, if we go to the industry, it requires the domain knowledge. So um, in this case, some of the company, as for example, as Ian Group, as an energy company, they have the knowledge. We have a uh, we have about millions of photos and with the annotations to identify the safety inspections potential safety issues. Yeah, so in this case, we can use this kind of private data and the 
annotations to do the fine tuning based on the general knowledge to, to, to get a better, better uh, performance in our specific application scenarios. But if we come to another big, bigger one, you know, something like our city management, city operations, it may come from our energy companies' knowledge. It may come from our residential uh, communities' uh, safety, and also can be come from the operations governments. Yeah. So all of how to how to make this uh, domain domain um, applications perfect. So we have to integrate the perform data and the knowledge from different companies, which are relevant to these application scenarios. So this is why we consider about using the federal learning and then we how to fine tune in the general model together to make this and apply to the industry domain. Yeah, based on this understanding, we made a quick comparison between the traditional federal learnings and the federal learning in, big, in large models. First of all is the, as I mentioned, the starting point. So traditional federal learning is usually training from the scratch, but now we now a lot of general large model open source are available there. So we the starting point we should le fully leverage the performance a power of the open source uh, general large models. And then the second one is the uh, the objectives. Objective in federal learning is the aggregate models, but in in large model we are think about the domain space and large model. It means that it can support a number of intelligence service for the whole industry applications. Yeah, so the, the scope is totally much, much, much larger. And then the, about the data. The data itself in traditional pattern learning, we think about the usually is single modalities. And also the data features are aligned and some of them maybe have a statistic. So, but, but we try to make these data as similar as possible to, ins to, to guarantee the pattern learning's performance. But in not model era, it's, it's totally different, different story. So we we as I mentioned, we if we want to build a not model, if we want to build a a, a a a very high performance foundation model, we have to think about the multi modalities and diversities of our data and and then different data features and 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 so on. So to to make sure that the in sufficient data, sufficient information are provided for the foundation models. And then the, the model itself, aggregations, usually in federal learning, they require high frequency synchronized aggregations, but in large models, era is almost impossible. You, you, cannot, you cannot move the whole large models as frequent as possible. And then, as I mentioned, some of the participants may not, may not always available. So they require a much more flexible, asynchronous aggregation algorithms. And for the performance itself, you know, large model that data, then the, the size has been increased dramatically. So we have to think about a trade-off between the between the computer resources and costs. For the privacy, large model usually they they output may have some leaks to leak the uh to leak it, the, the the informations of the data in different participants. Last one of this is about the incentive mechanisms. In traditional phenomenon, we have a very fancy algorithm already there to evaluate data quality and the model contributions from different participants. But if we move to large model era, it's, it's, it's much, much dif different because the data contributed by the different participants may be are, are usually very limited. So we should consider about their real time and unities and their knowledge contributions. So this might be might be um, very important to specific applications. Yeah, and then uh, based on this understanding, we try to propose a new federal learning frameworks in that that model era. So from the participants, we have a different kinds of private data. The private data may have multi modalities. and then each of them they can train based on the general not models and their adapters. This adapter is try to get the information from the private data. And then instead of uh, aggregating the whole uh, general knowledge model, we only aggregate the private data. And even for the model fusions, they have different kinds of models. For example, they can use MOE, the different, different modules 
of the whole general large model, the different participants can contribute different motive of the whole uh, foundation models. And then uh, in the end, in, in, the, in the middle, we have a better representations with the multi-modalities from different companies. And last point is, is this model can be support a number of downstream uh, assets in, in especially that in, in, in terms, these are in terms of vision and language models. And then um, for individual one, for, for example, the model fusions, we, we, we do the aggregations based on the adapters, which is much, much smaller than the pre-trained models. And then we also, we can use knowledge distillations to distill the feature map to the, this can handle the multimodal data is much better and much more efficient. For the model aggregation, in, Instead of the very frequent aggregation of the average, we can think about the cycling and continuous learnings and also use NONA to do the fine tunings. And um, another one is maybe is also very, very important. That is the data quality improvements. That is based on our multimodal. They can generate a lot of better annotations and generate a lot of images. So this can generate a lot of synthetic data to improve our data quantities use that, leverage the power of multimodal, uh, not models, yeah. Uh, regarding to the case study, um, we have trained, we have fine tuned the uh, open source model, that is OFA, um, OFA, which was proposed by Ali. Uh, name, uh, this one have already get a numbers, a lot of data, multimodal data, that is the foundation. And then we in collaborate with three companies together, each of them, can, for example, Ian Group contribute the energy facility safety. And uh, when Datong actually is a residential uh, property company, so he, he contributes the human behavior securities. And last but not least, the city operation is more from government's perspectives. And then um, we they contribute a number of uh, the, 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 the photos and, and, and their caption on the annotations. Then we deploy our uh, certificate uh, federal learning platform among these three companies to, in, to enable the fine tuning of, on this uh, multimodal data, multimodal model. And then we build these uh, domain specific models and support multi-task as mentioned. Yeah, um, while we're doing these experiments, we find out that mm, this multimodal can be very, very important to, and can be very efficient to enhance our data quantities. Yes, although, you know, data quantity is always the problems in different companies. So we, individual one, they have their own method to improve it, improve it, but this might be very, very time consuming. So if we leverage the federated multimodal, large model, they can generate a numbers of better annotations so it can help us to make these annotations much more informative. Yeah, so we, we do this some in an iterative manner. So this is definitely helpful and uh, speed up our data quality improvements process. And for the experiments, we, 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 have, we have two different kinds of scenarios, including energy scenarios and life quality scenarios. Yeah, so but these two scenarios are quite different, quite different. So, we our experiment have proved that federated global model can help the parties to learn the knowledge outside of their own domain. So as you can see, the last the, 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 the captions generated by the last federated global model is can be the can be the almost the best in compared to the individual one. So in terms of the, um, the measurement, we also do use the knowledge as a uh, criteria to measure the global federal learnings can be performed much better in the scenario, including the energy and life cycle scenarios. Yeah. So for conclusions, we have proposed a federal learning framework in large model era. So it can support the, the numbers of company to fine tune the model together and multi-modality model, and then uh, they can contribute their da data and knowledge. And this framework has been deployed across different companies in actually in different cities uh, in, 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 the, in, 
in China, really involve a lot of works, in, including the level securities and also the communication overhead, how to reduce the communication overhead. And, and then, and based on this platform, I have to do a lot of experiments in terms of the models performance and also the communication cost. So then um, our, based on our experiment, we have, we have proved that these visual language models can then diverse knowledges from, from the companies. Um, as for the future work, we, we will try to push the ecosystems and applications further. So we try to build a vertical domain knowledge based on these private data. Yeah. Um, and then um, the, the, about the performance, definitely we will, we will keep continuously use this platform to do the further testing and uh, um, use integrate some novel technologies together, something like LoLa's, fine tuning models, and different kinds of model fusions, including the knowledge knowledge distributions. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, thanks a lot. This is my sharing and introduction of our work. I'm ready for the questions. <laughs>